If you're running out of ideas on how to use those prolific zucchini that keep popping out of your summer garden, have you tried making zoodles yet? If you haven't, I'm going to show you how to do it in this episode of Cooking with Kibby. Cooking, cooking with Kibby. We'll make some yummy food. Cooking, cooking with Kibby. Yeah, um, something that rhymes with food. So put on an apron and grab you a knife. You're gonna have the time of your life. Cooking and cutting and chopping and mixing and stirring and cooking and cutting and stuff. Cooking, cooking with Kibby. Cause Kibby's your cooking dude. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Kibby. My name is Chef Kibby, and if this is your first time here on the channel, Cooking with Kibby is here to help you and your family get back in the kitchen cooking and eating together because I believe life is better when we're cooking together. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button somewhere down there underneath this video. And be sure to check out the show notes for some helpful links, including a link to one of the pieces of equipment that I use in this particular video. This time of year, we're getting a lot of great vegetables and fruits out of the garden, and that means a lot of chopping, slicing, and dicing, and grating, and all those sorts of things. And I, I absolutely love the 13-cup food processor that we got from Cuisinart. We, it's a workhorse, and we use it almost daily. And I've done another video on that, and I'll be sure to put that link up there somewhere above my shoulder as well, so you can take a look at that. In the meantime, we're talking about zucchini. I live in Ohio, and during this time of year, during the summertime, we get a lot of zucchini out of the garden. It's very prolific, and it's a delicious vegetable, and it's very versatile. There's a lot of things you can do with it. However, that versatility does run out after a while. We've had a very prolific season. We've had a lot of zucchinis come out of the garden, and so we've gotten to the point where we need to find some new ways of using it. And we recently discovered the idea of zoodles, or zucchini noodles. They are delicious, they are nutritious, and they're a really easy way of working vegetables into your meal, which is very helpful for those of us who have kiddos and we want them to be eating their vegetables. However, I wouldn't recommend you making zoodles by hand, which again, I'm going to show you how to make the zucchini noodles with the Cuisinart 13 cup food processor in this video. I want you to stick around until the end because afterwards I'm going to share with you some more thoughts about how you can work zoodles into your diet, some of the benefits of working them into your diet, and um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think you're going to get a lot of value out of this one. So, check it out. We have zucchini. I have my trusty Cuisinart food processor, which I do a lot of things with it, but just learned this week uh, something else that it is capable of doing. So, I have this attachment right here, this fancy attachment here, which I'll show you here how it kind of pops out. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Little blade right here. Pops right in like so. And then it fits straight into your food processor. Just like so. Make sure everything is seated properly. The lid. Which goes on top, like all lids. Attaches on top. And so the zucchini will go down into that hole right there. Like so. But not quite yet. Unfortunately, that wouldn't work because you have to have this post making contact with this piece right here in order for it to operate. That's kind of a safety mechanism to make sure that the blades aren't Fancy. spinning. In order to get the zucchini to fit, we're going to have to yeah. slice it down a little bit. First, get off the stem. Yeah. So, so that is the stem. That was the part of the zucchini that was attached to the plant. And then this end right here, what was attached here? Do you girls remember? The flower. Yeah. The flower. That's right. That's where the, the flower. flower was attached. And, and so then we cut off the flower end. 
And then I'm gonna cut this into three pieces, like so, into Ooh. three sections. Ooh. Why three? Because that's what's going to fit into the feed tube. Like okay, so. so there's the feed tube. This goes in the top, like so. All right. You wanna do the honors? Me? Yep. Put a hand on the top, and then I'm gonna hit the pulse button. Oops. We're gonna hold that down. this out oh my goodness oh. can I yeah go ahead the longest noodle oh, I'm still what? pulling I'm still pulling oh my lands it's still going still going still going oh, oh my hold gosh on. <laughs> these are way longer than mom's noodles Still going. It's like the never-ending noodle. No, no, zoodle. The never-ending zoodle. Oh, 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 oh. Not oh, a cucumber. Okay. okay, you take one end. That's gonna be as long. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> That's gonna be as long as a zoodle. Look how long that noodle is. That's, That's amazing. Long lady and the tramp. <laughs> Next one. All right. And we're going to do that with all of our zucchini pieces. How is it going around and around all by itself? How is it working? I can show you. So, so what we have, it's kind of a, a, a gear system. So, in the bottom of this unit, there's a gear that spins this post right here. So that was kind of Susian, kind of round there. Down here, spin. there's a gear that spins the, this, the post right here. So you have the gear, and then you have another gear right here. You see these little teeth? Yeah. So those teeth fit into the teeth of that gear. And so when this spins, it spins this. And so as it spins around, it spins those blades, and it shreds the zucchini. Which makes the zucchini spin into the little bond strips. And that's right. And then this has these little <laughs> prongs in it. That helps to hold the zucchini still so that mm -hmm. it stands still and then the blade turns. Does that make sense? What would, so it like... what would happen if that wasn't there? If that was there, that's a great question. If that wasn't there, then the zucchini might get stuck on the blade and it would just spin around and around and it wouldn't actually shred and anything. And Since we're not gonna be using these noodles right away, we're going to dry them. Uh, the fancy word is dehydrate. What's dehydrate mean? To dehydrate is to, to dry them. So we're gonna take the water out of the noodles so that they're dry and then we can keep them in the pantry to use later on in the year. So Sound pretty cool, right? Here's our, here's our zucchini noodles right here, as you can see on both screens. Okay, there's our zucchini noodles. Don't you even think about it. So we're going to take these zucchini noodles and we're going to put them in a colander and we're going to toss a little bit of salt on them. And that's going to help some of the moisture start to come out of the zucchini noodles. And after they've sat for a while, then we're going to give them just a little bit of squeeze just to get some of the juices out. And then we're going to set them on these wire racks to be placed in the oven which has a dehydrate function. And so basically, it, it, yeah, right oh, there. I'll show you. It does. Yeah. And basically what that is, is kind of like when we, when we bake things, but it's gonna bake it at a very, very low temperature. So it's just going to slowly let the moisture seep out of the noodles so that they'll dry, okay? And then later on today, we'll have dry noodles. Sound cool? All right, I hope you found that video very, very helpful. Uh, by the way, while we were filming this video, I did happen to have one small interruption in the middle of filming. So I want you to hit the subscribe button to this channel because next time I'm going to be sharing with you just what happened to, to interrupt the, the flow of the taping of this video and 
how my kiddos and I responded to this interruption. In the meantime, again, if you do not have a food processor, and especially if you don't have this particular food processor, I highly suggest you check out the product review I did on it or click the Amazon affiliate link in the show notes below so you can check it out and perhaps purchase one for your family. I think it will be a great investment for you. In the meantime, let's talk about some of the things that we learned in today's video. Uh, zucchini noodles or zoodles, they eat like pasta but are far more nutritious. They have more vitamins and minerals, uh, fiber, so many health benefits involved there. And so it's a great way of working some green vegetables into your diet. They cook really easy as well. I don't think this is something I necessarily covered in the video, that they cook. You don't even have to cook them separately from the rest of your food. You can just uh, toss them into your pasta sauce at the very end while it's still hot and bubbly. And it, it cooks up in mere moments. So that's very helpful. Now, again... You may run into a circumstance where you have too much zucchini and too many zoodles to really use uh, quickly enough for them to not go bad. And so your other option is to do what we did. You see that? Ooh, I know, special effects there. These are dehydrated zucchini noodles. And so I just use the dehydrate function of our of our oven um, just laid it out on sheet trays actually on wire racks over sheet trays and depending on the thickness of the zoodles and depending on the moisture level it could take as little as maybe five or six hours i think these took closer to 10 or 12 hours to dehydrate but it's worth it because now they're shelf stable they'll hang out in our pantry in a cold uh not a cold but in a uh, room temperature in a dry, um, dark place until it's time to use them. And th at that point, we can uh, rehydrate them in some warm water or, again, just throw them into the sauce at the end, cook them right up, and you're good to go. So hopefully you've learned a lot from this video. Um, I know I learned a lot in the process of trying zoodles for the first time, and I've enjoyed it. It's another way of the, utilizing this very versatile vegetable, the triple V, if you will. <laughs> if you have any questions about any other vegetables, things that are growing in your garden that you're starting to get to that point where it's like, whoa, I got to do this. I need to find another way of using this. Otherwise, it's going to go to waste. Uh, let me know in the comments section of this video. I'd love to know how I can be an encouragement to you and especially to show you ways that you can incorporate your kiddos in the cooking process as well, whether it be uh, you know, recipes or techniques or even pieces of equipment that you can purchase that can help you to better utilize them in the kitchen so that you can take full advantage of this time that we have together. Um, le let me know in the comments section how I can best serve you. And again, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can find out next time I'm sharing this sort of content with you. Uh, thank you again for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the kitchen.